All right, so we're basically gonna start right after the point that you install your central vision processing module, the CVPM. Right after you install that, you're gonna wanna come into alpha. You're gonna wanna connect into the radio. Where is it? Right down here. And one of the options in here is gonna be a central vision processing module. You're gonna click that, hit connect. Now that we're connected, we're gonna go into active diagnostic up here at the top. And the first one that you click from the scroll down is CVPM service calibration. You're gonna hit that. And down at the bottom, it's gonna give you a bunch of options. There's enforce calibration regardless of camera state. Uh, only cameras with invalid ca uh, calibration. You don't want to do any of those. You want to do individual cameras only. So what we're going to do is start with the front camera. Once we get that program, we'll move to the left, uh, right, rear, and so on. On your radio screen, you're going to go into settings or vehicle uh, or the settings menu, and you're going to hit controls. Go to vehicle cameras and hit surround camera. You can actually hit individual cameras and they'll work that way. But in the surround, view itself you won't get anything um, but we're gonna start with the front camera um, it doesn't matter which one you're, you've selected up here once we hit start procedure here it's actually gonna bring up another screen up here that's gonna show you the progress um, of each camera's um, calibration when you hit that start it's gonna want you to go between uh, I think three and five miles an hour or two and four miles an hour something like that really slow uh, a good rule of thumb is to just let off the brake, don't hit the gas, just let it coast while it's doing this, um, this uh, programming uh, procedure. You're also going to not want to turn the wheel at all. You're going to keep it as straight as possible for as long as possible. It'll give you a prompt up, uh, prompt up here that I'll show you uh, that'll go red if you're doing it wrong. Um, you also are going to want a long straight shot where you can stay straight for maybe 500 feet or so. Uh, so empty, uh, empty mall parking lots, school parking lots, something where you uh, won't have to turn um, for at least 500 feet is ideal. We're using a back road. We have our uh, emergency lights on and we're going to try and you know, run through the first process with you real quick. So I'm going to hit the start button. You can see on our screen it brought up uh, the steering wheel which shows you green because our steering wheel is not turned. If you were to turn that steering wheel, you see it turn red, put it back to straight and it'll go green. The um, speedometer side, this is showing you red because we're not moving. If you're uh, going too fast, it'll also show you red. So you have to be in that little, uh, that little butter spot. So you can let off the brake here. Don't press the gas. It'll go green. And then you just wait for the scroll bar to hit 100 and you can see our display in alpha is continually scrolling with no error test in progress and we're basically just going to roll until we get a successful calibration on that camera and this would be beneficial if you're doing this with a buddy um, so one of you can do the programming side while the other one drives and it's showing 100% with a check mark. That means that that camera calibrated. We scroll down all the way to the bottom in alpha, it'll say right camera successful. So that's good. Now that we got that camera programmed, we're gonna come into faults. We're gonna clear faults. You can see our image pops up again in there. We're gonna go to manual connect and in send command, we're gonna hit the command or we're gonna send um, the command 8502. We're gonna hit send. We're gonna get some activity down here. Then we'll come back into status and faults. Clear faults one more time. Go back into start menu. We're gonna disconnect. And you're gonna notice up here in the top left corner, it actually didn't disconnect even though it says connect down here. We're still connected. We're gonna go back into status and faults. Clear faults one more time. Come back into start. We're gonna connect. Just like we did again, it's going to say trying to connect. Once you're connected, we're going to clear faults one more time. This is kind of a tedious process. And now you can see our cameras blinked again. Now we can start programming another camera. So we can do the left camera. 
we'll hit the start button it'll give us that same process so basically you're just gonna repeat this process one at a time uh, with each camera until you have a successful calibration on all four of your cameras um, and from that point your 360 camera should be uh, or your 360 module should be completely calibrated um, if you have a problem with this process just keep repeating it until uh, you get it it can be very temperamental it's also beneficial to have a lot of things in the camera's view so if you're doing the left camera maybe if you can park close or uh, scroll um, roll closer to a sidewalk or something with a lot of features in it just so that the camera can pick up uh, exterior features that it can calibrate itself to um, again it's not a full foolproof easy process uh, but this process uh, does work for a lot of people it just takes some time if you don't want to go to that dealership mm -hmm.